Let's see how we can install SQL Server on Windows 11 and how we can connect to SQL Server and make queries. First, go to this URL. I'll have the link in the description below. You can just click on it. And now scroll down to this version. So we have two versions, one is free and one is specialized. So click on Express and your SQL Server X Express will be downloaded. Now click on Open File and now you'll see this option, Basic, Custom or Download Media. So we will choose Basic. Scroll down and click Accept. Again, this is where our SQL Server will be installed. We can change location if you don't have storage available in C. You can just click on Browse and choose another location. I'll install in the default directory itself. Click Install. And finally, our SQL Server 2022 is being installed. So finally, our SQL Server 2022 is installed. Now, what we can do is we can click on Connect now. And we are inside our SQL Server. We can run queries here like show databases and everything like that. But doing everything in command line is very difficult. So what we will do is we will install an application that will help us to do everything using GUI. So that application is SSMS. So click on this and you'll be taken to SQL Server Management Studio. Now just click on download SSMS. Click on this. And your SSMS download will start. Once SSMS is downloaded, just click on open file and your SSMS setup will start. So now the setup has started and this is where we will install our SSMS. You can choose to change this by clicking on change. But we will not change it. We will just click install. SSMS is started. So as you can see, SSMS is installed. Now close it. And let's press our Windows key and type SSMS and click on this SQL Server Management Studio 19 and it is opening up. Finally, our SSMS is open. Now just click on connect here and we are connected to our SQL Server. So if I click on databases, there are no databases at the moment. There are just some default stuff here. So you can right click here, click on new database and let's say we will name it test underscore db and we can just click ok and our new database will be created so we have a database here we can right click we can create query on this database we can do some tasks so this is how you can install sql server and ssms if you have any questions let me know in the comments below